Back to making videos. Today I'm gonna do a collaboration between me and Paul Davila. You guys have already seen Paul in a few of my videos. But today we're gonna go out. We're gonna shoot up his drone up in the sky and get some cool shots. I'm gonna have my gimbal, get some cool shots with the gimbal, and just have a good time, create some content, have fun with it. And that's what this video is gonna be about, a collaboration between Paul and myself. So let's go ahead and start this vlog now. All right, so we are gonna get some food before we go shoot. And we are charging the batteries for the drone right now. Cause Paul forgot to charge them yesterday. Yeah, sorry. So what's up with that, Paul? It's been a long week, what can I say? All right, so we're gonna get some tacos, some food, and then we're gonna get into that. What's this place called? Ernesty Debs. Ernesty Debs. And it's a hike? Yep. It's gonna be a little bit of a hike. A little bit of a hike, and we're gonna get some drone shots. All right, so we came to Pasadena at the Rose Bowl instead of um, Ernesty because we kind of looked it up and I think we can't fly a drone out there and we can't fly a drone here. So we're here now and we're gonna put the drone up in the air. What does Pasadena mean in Spanish? I have no idea. Fun fact, me and Paul are actually from the same city in Texas, Laredo. Yep, but we met out here in LA though. So, Pa, real quick, introduce yourself, what you do, and what you love to do, and what you, who you are, pretty much, real quick. Uh, my name is Paul Davila. I'm a cinematographer, director, and editor, and I love making movies. I love being behind the camera. There you go, he loves being behind the camera. But today, he's gonna be in front of the camera. And behind, I guess, flying the drone. Yes, I'll be manning yeah. the controllers. So, so, what got you into film? Uh, just watching movies when I was uh, a kid in high school. Eventually, you watch enough good movies, you wanna make some movies make some good movies hopefully and then you decided to go to film school yeah yeah sort of I went to college and took a theater TV film uh, studied theater TV film there so it was a half and half half theater half TV film and yeah that's where I learned a lot of the stuff I use today and you're a DP right you you like to light stuff and and be behind the camera handle the settings and all that so that's what you do yeah but you're also edit, you're kind of like a one-man crew, kind of? Yeah, well I think it's important for filmmakers, all filmmakers, especially if you want to be a director, uh, to learn editing. Because being aware of how a story gets put together in the post process can really help you on set when having to make on-the-fly decisions. Especially when you're running out of time and you have to find a workaround around getting a certain shot. And you got to figure out what's going to work. And if you know editing, then you can figure out the solution a lot easier that way because you know how things get put together. That is a very good pro tip from Paul. A very well seasoned veteran in the film industry and he's worked on a lot of different stuff. Very good stuff. You do, you do photography as well, right? Yes, I do. So, more, more as a hobby, but yes, I do like yeah. doing photography. So photography, you know, I kind of do all the same thing. I do. I would say that he is way better at like lighting stuff and just cinematography wise. He has a lot of equipment, which is really cool. Today, we are flying his drone, and I'm excited for that because I've never used a drone, and this is gonna be the first time you're gonna let me. Hell yeah! So pumped for that. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this drone up in the air. the drone and it's gonna go straight up I'm gonna cut from here to the drone footage once it starts going up you ready Paul
Got it. Nice. <laughs> So we are done here at Pasadena at the Rose Bowl. And it was a successful day. We finished shooting the drones. Uh, we got some gimbal shots. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you, Paul, for coming out and you know flying your drone. If you guys need a drone, hit Paul up. Look him up on Instagram at PJ Dobbs. Yes. PJ Dobbs. Anything you want to say, Paul? Tips, pro tips, advice for the youngsters or anyone else who's looking into becoming a DP or getting into the film industry? All I can say is practice, practice, practice. You guys don't need to have gimbals and like all the expensive stuff to create content. You don't need to have a drone. You don't need to have a stabilizer, uh, even like a good DSLR camera to create content. If you have a phone, that's more than good enough to create stuff. The phones shoot slow motion nowadays. So if you have a phone, use that for now. Use what you have to create stuff. And I think that's one of the best tips I can give anyone, someone who's looking into getting into film, someone young who wants to pursue a career in the film industry. I'm also looking to do more collaborations with other content creators and people who uh, just want to create stuff, whether it's photography, video editing, drummers, drummers. Apparently we got some drummers over here. If you're an artist and you want to collaborate, I'm down to collaborate. If you do painting, if you do art of any kind, hey, we can do it. Let's do a photo shoot, let's set something up, and let's create, create, create. And like always, make it a lifestyle. I'll see you guys in the next one, and stay tuned to see who I feature on my next vlog. I'm gonna do these more often with other people and just collaborating, so I think it's gonna be fun, and just showing other people's talents is something that I wanna show on my channel, so that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one.